you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 2. Episode 2 is the name of the episode. Apparently, there are no names of the episodes. It's just Episode 1, Episode 2, Episode 3. So am I. I really enjoyed the first episode. Like I said before, it was not necessarily what I was expecting out of the show, but uh, in a good way. It was it it was different, but I enjoyed it. So I'm hoping that that continues. Yeah, same basically. here. Same yeah. here. Yep. So yeah, I say we just hop in, uh, see where the journey takes us. To be honest with you, we talked quite a bit about it in the last episode. I'm sure yep. we'll talk about it at the end here. So let's go, Peaky Blinders. We're in season one, episode two. Let's do it. Steve and Lacey. Lacey and Steve. So wrong. <laughs> Beautiful horse. Gotta love white horses. Yes, bitch. It's my man. Tommy. Looks like a fair or something. Oh. I guess it is a fair. I'm riding with the Lee family now. Oh, yes. Myself would rather live among pigs. Come on, Tommy. You're not a stupid. What do you know about France? You wash our gypsy bastard. So, this is the horse. We're not swapping the family car for a bloody horse. Of course, we're not swapping it. Huh? That'd be mad. We're going to play two up. Uh, okay. You're so you're betting. Oh, they're betting. Okay. What? He, he's betting his car, and he the other dude's betting his horse. Uh, they're both heads. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. They Some were you bloody idiots. Shut up, Arthur. I won. Oh yeah. Hey, Tommy. Tommy. I asked you come a on. question. Come on, come on. It's just a crack. It's your family out here calling to your shelter before they start. They're just having a crack. Huh? Yeah, but his mom was a pinny quite hard. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Here, we're going to see. Uh, bye. Bye. Oh, shit. Right across the eyeballs. You don't talk about his mama. Okay. Welcome to the fair, Tommy. Ooh. Headbutt. Them guys had like no chance, it would appear. Oh. <laughs> so like gray. <laughs> we will take them before last night's beer turns the pass and wakes the devils up. We will leave no stone unturned. Take your positions. Are they doing like a raid or something? Looks like it. What is it? Oh shit. These cops really don't like communists. With this prescription for iron sappers for the aid of fucking Shelby. Holy Jesus, it's the Shelby dog. Have you not seen it with me and you, Mrs. Dunham? Just give her a cup of tea and let her stand till the police are gone. She's an angel. Come on, Aiza. What are you gonna do, Freddy? I'm gonna have to leave town for a bit. For some reason. I feel like he's bad. Yeah, news. but yeah. I could be wrong. He's going to get her in trouble, or yep. he's going to get her killed, or he's going to get, uh, yeah. Something. He's using her, period. We yeah. knew that. Yeah. I'm lighting candles for the boys from the garrison who lost their lives in France. There's a list there. Look. <laughs> they didn't make it to France, Inspector Campbell. You've heard of me. I've heard of you. Is the Holy Grail you're looking for? Matter of fact, is the Holy Grail I'm looking for? Something precious, something stolen. I've seen no one oh. talking about it. Sorry, misunderstood your intention when you pushed me against the wall. Uh huh. There we go. Chill out, buddy. Turn the place upside down. It's a... Arthur Shelby okay. said, You people, next time, I want to talk to the boss. And when I say the boss, I mean Thomas. Why do I feel like uh, Tommy is not going to be as intimidated by them as maybe... Because he won't? Yeah, like Arthur was just kind of like, oh yeah, maybe we 
we should just be their informants and help them out. And Tommy's like, hell no. Marcus Copper. So go on, drink your beers, get out. I mean, it kind of seems like she runs. she runs the show here for the most part. I reckon it's three to one, there'll be a revolution. I wouldn't bet on that. That cop is betting on it. He's not going to let it rest till he gets those guns back. Then he's home to your pal. In the church. Did he tried to find her either. She was sleeping. Mm-hmm. That's what she was doing. Why was she sleeping, Paul? I thought you didn't care for women's business. Uh, uh, it's his sister, though. Will you talk to him? Yeah. Oh. You don't bother me when you're on the back foot. I thought he would. We'll strike a blowback first. Strike a blowback. Okay. So she's kind of minds with him, like, keeping things looking as they usually have. He's more the brawn and the innovator yeah. as well. What are they burning? It looked like pictures of cops or I, I, maybe army. It looked army. like pictures, but I couldn't tell of what. Well, they're in uniform of some sort. I'm a reporter. Is it burning me being dispatched? I had a phone call. Someone called Thomas Shelby. Who was me? There are some things I want you to write down. Now, first of all, it's not the people around here that is loyal to the king. It's the opposite. You see, we don't want our beloved king looking down and seeing the things that have been done to us. So we are taking down his pictures. But why are you burning them? Oh, the king's we pictures. We went Walk through the flames of war. Write all this down. And now we're being attacked in our own homes. These new coppers over from Belfast. We don't think our king would want to see that happening. So we are lighting fires to raise the alarm. May I ask you, in what capacity do you speak? No capacity. I'm an ordinary man. I want gallantry medals at the Somme. I want you to write in your paper what's going on here. Go on, go. Yep. Low back. <laughs> He's about right. to be pooced. There's a telephone call for you, said on the London line. Mm -hmm. There is. Yeah. Almost midnight. You don't know so what's happening in the streets? Somewhere. Really? What is he calling for at this time of night? Hmm. Something important. I hear there's been a bonfire in your city. A small fire reported around 9 o'clock. Watery lane. Is, is... There is nothing to trouble you about, sir. I will go down there immediately and uh, arrest those involved. No, you most certainly will not. If there are arrests, there will be trials. If yeah. I put you in Birmingham for one very specific reason. Are you any nearer to finding those dueling guns? We are making steady progress. We need results. Good night, Mr. Campbell. Sir. It names a Mr. Thomas Shelby. The report mentions he's a war hero. Uh, click. Blowback. Blowback. Please join us. What? Stand up. What? Is she Stand. pregnant? Oh, she gonna look at them boobies, see if they're more full? Mm -hmm. oh, what are you doing? Ada, you're pregnant. How late are you? One week. Ooh. If I tell you, you'll tell them and they'll cut into pieces. Not if he marries you, they won't. That's... Will he marry you? <laughs> Will no. he? Yeah, good I question. Don't know, I don't know where he is. He's not like that. He's a good man. He can't. He will come back up, Paul. I know he will. Oh, well, he will. He w well, he will, but how long he <coughs> lasts is another question. <laughs> He doesn't know she's pregnant yet. Horse. I know, it's beautiful. Just passing it on. From who? Declaration of war. The whole league. Oh. Do you mind how you speak to me? Forgive me, uncle. Oh, that's his uncle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thomas Shelby against the old bloody world, right? <laughs> Apparently, he's like, yep. God, that's a beautiful horse. It's like. Everything else looks like desolate and gray and bleh. Uh, that girl's gonna end up falling for him. I'm Grace, by the way. I know you are. The spy. Yep. You have something to say to me. The other night she came into the pub when I was singing. She said singing wasn't too loud. I don't think she would one night a week when I'm singing. I think it would be good for everyone. Saturday night, Harry was too afraid to ask you, so... But you're not? <laughs> Apparently not. You sound like one of those rich girls who comes over from Dublin for the races. Do you like horses? How's your fancy earnings next to money? It's very nice. Do you got a nice dress? 
That was a weird asking out for a date. I don't, I don't, I get the feeling like it wasn't for a date though. He needs, he needs her for something. Cause he said, how'd you like to earn some extra money? That's not a date. made up a name maybe I mean I really don't think yep get out Freddy fucking son that's it that's his name yeah your best mate since school the man who saved your life in France so go on go on cut him cut him up and chuck him in the cut I she's like I'm a Shelby too you know put my fucking film back on she gets up wait I didn't actually mean to kill him. <laughs> I mean, he's probably lucky that he's not there right now. Ada wants you to give Freddy this letter. She wants Freddy to know she's having his baby. Deserves an opportunity to do the right thing. I say we give them a chance. For a woman who's had a hard life with men, you're still full of romance, eh? You know, I'll tell you what he sees. Yep. Mm -hmm. He sees machine guns and rifles. Damn them for what they did to you in France. Tell Ada. Freddy went to America. Oh, Russia. Oh, you did do no good for Ada to bring a baby into the world alone. The truth is, you would have hit me with that thing, but went for the fact that you know I'm right. And I didn't dare tell anyone. Bye, Freddy, I'll come back. In the end, I did it myself. I did it to myself. And I almost died. And he didn't come back. They don't. Why should they? You know the words. You're a whore. Baby's a bastard. But there's no word for the man who doesn't come back. One day, on your wedding day, you'll have a good man on your arm. And you'll say, Polly, thank you for common sense. Um, I don't think she's on board. She doesn't want to do it. She's got it in her head that he's definitely coming back. Which well, he might come back, but what happens when he does come back and if Tommy gets a hold of him first. Well, they've been hiding this whole time. He obviously doesn't want him to know. He knows now. And if word travels... Then he won't come back. So... Is this his supposed meeting that he was supposed to have with... Oh, he is showing up. Now, this is what I'm waiting for. I chose this place because... It was outside both of our jurisdictions. Inspector, I responded to your invitation because I want us to understand each other. I'm a businessman. I want to make my business successful. And I want my city on pace for that. Well, if the city is peaceful, business can thrive. So we are on the same side. I think perhaps we could be. It has your sister's name on it. It was obvious she'd been sleeping in his bed. <laughs> are you also in bed with the communists? I've already dealt with the situation. Freddy Thorne is at the very top of my list to cross him off. He won't be returning to the city. I'll make him part of our deal. What deal? You and your specials will leave my businesses alone from now on. No more raids into our territory. No more smashing up pubs. No more lifting my runners. You will turn a blind eye to all of my gambling operations. <laughs> also, I'm planning an expansion. I intend to do business with Billy Kimber. He has policemen on his payroll. I want you to put in a word. With the chief inspector of Gloucestershire, that is men should leave me alone when I make my move. That's quite a an ask. Can I give me a dancing dove a pen? <laughs> there you go. And what do I get in return? I have what you're looking for. Oh. I have the guns. He just came out and said it. I'm guessing they sent you to Birmingham to get those guns back. Well, to me that hasn't. I've left word with the men I trust. And if I am taken into police custody for whatever reason, those guns will be shipped to Liverpool. From there, they will be sent directly to Belfast and sold to the Irish Republican Army. All your good work in Ireland will be undone. If I sell them to the IRA, it won't be long before Mr. Chester finds out. I imagine you got into enough trouble over the burning of the King's photographs. That was just a taster. 
when I have achieved what I've set out to achieve, I will let you know where to find the guns. You'll be a hero. You'll probably get a medal. I'm a fair man. It's a fair offer. Do we have a deal? He's playing hardball here. I'll see you. What, what he, yeah, what he's gonna say. I need an answer. Right now. <laughs> right now. Not tomorrow. Not ten minutes from now. Very well. Now. And I'd prefer if we don't shake hands on it. <laughs> no, why would I shake the hand of a man who didn't even fight for his country? Burn. How did I know that Tommy was going to somehow <coughs> put that guy in his place? Thomas Shelby is now the beginning, the middle, and the end of your mission. Oh, okay. And what is her mission? It hurts me as much as it, as it would a father sending his own daughter into a whorehouse. But no matter how repugnant it may be, you must do everything you can to get close to him. Find out where those guns are hidden. Of course, when I say everything, I don't mean. Underestimate me in every way. <sighs> and I wish to God, circumstance hadn't chosen you. So what Do you? My heart is with you. You're using her. So he can't hold up his end of the bargain. No. So find him before so I don't have to. Does this play have maybe significance? Relating to his war time. No, she stabbed that dude. Maybe. Maybe she's gonna end up backstabbing uh, Campbell because she is gonna fall for Tommy. Maybe. Or maybe she kills Tommy. Tell me, Kelly, what's wrong with yours? You, you bought with the fear and bad feeling. So let's leave Bastard's curse then. It's going to his heart by tomorrow, I see. Oh, oh it's a curse, is it? Or is it just a sickness? Black blood gypsies. I'm sorry. Such a pretty horse. Here's your time. Yep. Alone with him. Damn. How's your brief flowers? Uh. Did you have to bring it up? I just put a bullet in his head. What's your name? He looked at me the wrong way. It's not a good idea to look at Tommy Shelby the wrong way. What a waste. Yeah. A waste is what it is. Uh, you know, in France, in France, I got used to seeing men die. Never got used to seeing horses die. They die badly. I don't get a dress like you asked. Shepherd's Grand Affair, is it not? The king will be there. King Billy Kimber and all his men. Apparently oh, this Billy you. Kimber guy's a Two big shot. Two pounds will do what I ask you to. I want three. <laughs> if I'm meeting a king, I won't be wearing a cheap dress. And I asked you to let me see. It's part of the deal now, too. Oh. Since when? Yeah, she's playing Since ball here. Now. Everyone gets to sing their song, just like we did in Dublin. You never worked in Dublin. Did I lie to me? I asked around about that pub he said you used to work in. Ooh. My friend's over there. No one has heard of you. My guess is, you had a girl from a good family who got herself pregnant. It's not something I want, no. And bringing a child into the world alone ruins your life. Right. Wrong. It's okay. So I'm right. And Polly is wrong. Uh, what did Polly I say? What? Family business. You won't tell anyone my secret. Do you think I tell people things? <laughs> so Touche, my friend. <laughs> Get up on the chair. They're gonna fall for each other. Yep. Happy or sad? Sad. Okay, but I warn you, you break your heart. Already broke. In a neat little town they come the bar. Apprentice to trade I was bound In that neat little town He trained By the black velvet band Her eyes they shone like diamonds Tied up with a black velvet band It didn't break my heart 
I wouldn't say it broke my heart, no. I think it broke his. <laughs> oh, oh uh -oh. shit. Freddy, you came back? You got a tip off? Freddy, Tommy will kill you. Is Tommy who tipped me off? Maybe he's got half a heart after all. Tommy got a message to me. Said get out of town. Take her with you. So, Ada Shelby. Okay, I wasn't expecting you that. Me. Yeah. Get out of town and take her yeah. with you. No. I. Why do I? What? <laughs> not what I was expecting. We're not going anywhere, Ada. Uh. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna marry here. I'm not afraid of Tommy Shelby. Uh, I feel like you probably should be. And what did Mikey change your mind on, Tommy? Uh, her. Yeah, Fast swimming and slow horses will ruin your life. Coppers. Somebody important with weapons? Holy shit. What? It's Billy Kimber. Ah. Uh, oh, Billy Kimber. Okay. It's fucking Billy Kimber. It, it's fucking Billy Kimber. Is there any man here named Shelby? Oh, he because he's pissed, right? Gotta get these men a drink. Everyone else go home. <laughs> Everybody's like, okay, bye. So I know you have my undivided attention. <laughs> By the way, which one am I talking to? Who's the boss? Well, I'm the oldest. <laughs> Clearly. Are you laughing at my brother? <laughs> right, he's the oldest, you're the thickest. I'm told the boss is called Tommy, and I'm guessing that's you. I want to know what you want. He's obviously not afraid of you. Park, a horse called Monaghan boy. <laughs> And Billy Kimber, I run the races, and you fixed one of them, so I'm gonna have you shot against the post. Mr. Kimber, look at this. That is my name, and it's, it's from the Lee family. You were awful at Walter Lee's, Mr. Kimber, am I right? The Lees are attacking your bookies and taking your money. You men can't control them. You need help. Perhaps we should listen to what Mr. Shelby has to say. Right, the Lees. Together we can beat them, divided, maybe not. Mr. Kimber. Perhaps we should take some time for reflection, make arrangements for a second meeting. I admire you, Mr. Kimber. You started with nothing and built legitimate business. It would be an honour to work with you, Mr. Kimber. Nobody works with me. People work for me. <laughs> sit, sit down. See you soon. Thank you, Mr. Kimber. <laughs> Feeding into his ego. You're a bit tough, man. As will I. The fact that he told her to the get Lees a dress. have a beef with Tommy. He, he, now he's going to use He had this Kim all planned out this whole time. That's why he told... He's going to use Kimber to defeat the Lees with him. The yeah. He can't mess with Billy fucking Kimber. And then... He's got a decent man. Going to the races. See, he already had this all planned out. And once the leaves are gone, he'll take out Billy Kimba. Yeah, everything. He ain't gonna put up with that everything shit. Everything he just said to Billy Kimber, like, uh, "Oh, I really admire you," and all that. He was just feeding into his ego. I saw that, and then as I'm sitting there and like, "Oh, we'll be at this at the race at the race," and I'll I'll be there too. I'm like. He had this plan from the get-go. That's why he asked, what's her name, to get a dress? Cause I don't know why he needs her there, but he, for some reason he needs her there for something. <laughs> yeah, this was all a part of a... Bigger plan. Yep. Now, what that... I'm loving this. What that I final love the show. plan... Yeah, I'm liking it, too. It's interesting. It's different. Uh, something I'm not used to. Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I'm like 99% sure this is the first BBC show I've seen, and so far I re I'm really enjoying it. So I can say 100% yeah. it's the first BBC show I've ever seen. That's what seen. I'm saying. I'm pretty sure I have it. But I'm really enjoying every bit of it. There's a lot going on already, but I can see the angles. The angles. Yep. Yeah. I see the angles, and I love, I love Tommy's angles. I love his character so far. I mean, as far as his character is very interesting, very, oh, yeah. very different, very like very 
looks to me like he's two steps ahead of two steps everybody ahead, else. But I don't think he's two steps ahead of the bartender. He, oof. Now, he got that all wrong. He got that way wrong. Or did um, he? But he said but, he was right, Aunt Polly was wrong, so I'm thinking maybe Aunt Polly is getting it right. Maybe she's saying, watch that girl. Uh-huh. She might be your downfall or something like that. You, you, and, heard, you heard his brother say, fast women and slow horses. I love the show. I'm, <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I mean, everything they're saying, everything they're doing, it's clicking. It's working for me. Yeah. I mean, it's written really well and acted really well. I mean, the action, everything, everything. Love it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it too. I can't wait for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with I, us. I, I would be very interested to see how this would work on YouTube. I haven't watched anyone react to it. I don't know if there is. There probably is, I assume. Maybe. There's yeah, I don't know. Lot. I really don't. But I would love to see how this would go because it's really, really good. It's really good. Yeah, I agree. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video. Make sure you squish that bell. Always squish it. (laughs) And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Yes. Hope amazing happens to you. Until next time. And Peaky Blinders. Peace out.